Hi, Flosstube. It's Christine from Hollis Hands Create. It's Wednesday, June 3rd. This is episode number 12 of my Flosstube channel. Um, this is a channel about cross-stitch and some quilting, a couple other little things thrown in. So if you've wandered into uh, my uh, room here with me, um, I hope that these are things that you're interested in. And if so, um, you know, sit back and uh, we'll enjoy some creativity. And um, if not, then, you know, you can move on. <laughs> so I hope everyone is, um, is doing well um, in these trying times. And, um, you know, not to go into to any of that. Um, everybody's well aware of everything that's going on, but just just know I'm sending out well wishes um, for anyone um, who might need them. So, and in that vein, um, I received a little stitchy kindness that I'm going to um, share with you. Um, my friend Becky, who's uh, socks for mom, sent me the sweetest um, little gift. She was inspired by Teresa, a kitten stitcher, who uh, is stitching Ann Thomas right now. Um, and calls her, the bird, the big bird in the middle of the sampler, Walter. And um, she showed, Becky makes thread keeps, and so she showed one that she did um, that she called Walter. And I saw it, and I was like, oh, gosh, I have to have that. And it showed up in my mailbox. Isn't it the sweetest? So there's Walter. So, you know, and it always makes your day when you get, you know, a, a nice stitchy kindness and, and um, you know, just the think, this thinking that someone, you know, was, was thoughtful enough to, to take their time and effort and, and send you something. So I really appreciate it. So thank you, Becky. Um, so guys, it's June 3rd. Mania is over. Um, if you participated, I hope you survived um, and you are more inspired, maybe got some finishes or made some major progress on things that were in your plans. Um, I did okay. Um, on my last uh, video, which was May 15th, I had shown you what progress that I had made on all the new starts that I had planned that fell in the first half of the month. So what I'm going to do is show you the new starts that I started in the second half of the month and I got a finish on one of those starts. So I was very happy about that. Um, first up, I showed, or I started uh, the Contented Mind Sampler from the Sampler Company by Brenda Keys. So this one I started on the 20th of May, I believe it was. And it's just a start on the border. Um, not a not a huge start as I remember that evening I didn't even sit down I think until like 9 or 9 30 that evening to, to get my start going so um, the very next night I had another new start planned and that was Plum Street Samplers this is um, a dying to stitch uh, club kit from last year George decorates for Martha I love me some Plum Street this one I'll put up against the board so you can see better. There's my start. So basically, you know, just get that pumpkin and then across the, the roof there. So it's not too bad. Then this next new start um, was on, let's see, Monday... Monday the 25th, I believe. And this was one that was not originally in my Mania uh, planned starts, but I just couldn't stand it. Um, it's a Plum Street Samplers, new release, a new constellation. I'm sure everybody's seen this all over social media. But I just, the more I kept looking at this, the more I just loved it. And the more I had people ordering the pattern and sending it out, I was like, okay, that's, you know... So I had gotten in this last, and I believe I showed it on my last floss tube, uh, a fat half of some Lakeside Linen Chantilly Cream. And when I saw that, and then I'm looking at that, oh, there's my start. And I thought, oh, this linen will be <clears throat> absolutely perfect. You might notice that it looks like a dotted line. Um, 
when I have a long line like that, what I do to count is I stitch nine, skip one, stitch nine, skip one. So then I know it's 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way across just to make sure that um, it's correct. And then later I go back in and fill in the singles. So, um, so what I'm gonna do, I had, since I had a fat half of that Chantilly cream, I already had the Heritage Sampler, which she released um, before as the first, um, to, with, you know, to this companion piece, a new, um, a new constellation. I already had that in my stash. So I figured out that, <clears throat> you know, my, my spacing, I could actually get both of those samplers on this piece and have enough space for the third one that we'll be releasing next spring that came out as a retreat piece this year um, for all the dying to stitch people who are going to the retreat. Unfortunately, you know, Paula had to mail them you know, because the retreat was canceled. But so there will be a third um, sampler that will come out as well. And um, I watched Paulette's little short tutorial video or explanation video of that sampler and I loved it as well. So I'll be able to do all three on that same linen and then be able to frame them and have them, you know, up side by side. So uh, anyway, so that was a that that was a start that I hadn't really planned for, but I, I couldn't stand it. I caved to the pressure and did it. So um then on the 16th, I had started from Blackbird Design's Sweet Land of Liberty book, American Eagle. And I was really happy with this. So I started this on the 16th and I actually finished it on May 31st. Sunday night, I think around 11.15, I was cranking away trying to get this thing done <clears throat> so that I could claim a, a start and a finish all in the same month. So I did make um, one change or two changes. Um, I didn't have the gentle art color that she had called for. I think it was the antique rose, but I had a uh, red pear. So I substituted in red pear. And then um, she, for all of the parts here and like in the flag here, and then in this whirly star, um, they had called for a uh, tin bucket, we, we, uh, gentle art tin bucket. And I switched it out to uniform blue. Here I stuck with the tin bucket, but here and in here, and I think this little little guy down here, I actually used uniform blue. So uniform blue is <clears throat> such a nice blue, but it is a gray blue. So you, it just it popped a little more patriotic for me, um, especially in the flag, and uh, but still looks it's a muted color, so it still looks old and still. It has that samplery look. So <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I uh, made a substitution with that one. So so those were my new starts and the progress, you know, on those uh, from Mania. And that wrapped up Mania for me. Everything else that I had done was um, work on a whip <clears throat> as well as uh, work on the berry bowl sampler. As you know, um, my friend um, Kristen and I are hosting the Berry Bowl Sal with the Berry Bowl Sampler from Heartstring Samplery and Scarlet House. And so on Mondays, that's what I worked on. And here's my progress so far. So really happy with that. It's really pretty. And I'm stitching mine on Heartland and Vellum from Picture This Plus, 40 count. So, if you still wanna join, there are no rules to this sal. Um, <clears throat> you can jump in and join anytime, just hashtag Berry Bowl Sal. And um, if you'd like to tag, you know, me or uh, Kristen, either one, that would be great. You can, you know, tag, uh, she's Blue Bonnets and Whiskey. Um, I have a personal Instagram, which is McMama Hollis, and then as well as Hollis Hands Create. So um, we'd love to, to see your progress and join us. So that's my Mondays. Um, so since Mania is done, and I was like, okay, now what are my plans going to be for June? So I got out my, my uh, little schedule book and uh, my, my needlework press cal stitcher's calendar. 
and I also was kind of digging through some things and looking at my whips and looking at quilting projects and other things that I have to do um, and crochet projects and things and I thought all right I need to kind of I want to continue to make some progress on some of my stitching projects but I, I also want to get some finishes and I and I need to kind of get away from you know the willy-nilly stuff here so I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Sundays to work on projects um, whether they be unfinished or something that I bought that a kit or whatever that I just hadn't done um, I do have like a crochet blanket gift that I need to get finished um, uh, and get out you know out the door in the mail um, by at least mid-August so I need to get that done you know just some things like that so that's gonna be my Sundays um, Mondays berry bowl till that's finished and I'd love to have that finished by end of June we'll see um, Tuesday through Thursday I thought all right I'm gonna pick a focus piece and that's gonna be my focus for that week so for this week um, you guys have all seen uh, the friendship sampler that I have been working on and I'll show you where I stand with that because I have made some decent progress on it since I last showed you. But this is uh, Jenny Bean and Friends, the friendship sampler. Can you see that? And my progress. Sorry guys, here I'm gonna. So I believe since I last have last have shown this, I should have clipped it. Um, all of this house work I've been I've done, finished getting in the the box. Um, some of this stuff done. It'll match this end. So. Anyway, making some major progress. So I'm hoping that by making this my focus piece um, for the next, you know, the next week, you know, this week and, and probably next week, I'm hoping to then get a finish and then what I'll do is pick another one to be my, my focus piece. And that'll be like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. For this week, um, then for my Friday, Saturday, I chose to go back to work on a new constellation um, because I'm thinking all right I also want to get in that heritage sampler and I want to have both of them done you know so that next spring when she releases that third one for for the general public I'll be ready to dive into that and they're you know these are not super easy pieces to do there's some over one and there's you know a lot of, a lot of stitching so um, I, and I just love it. I did not want to put it down. So I'm going to, for this week, work on a new constellation. Um, my Friday, Saturday medium project type piece may be somewhat, um, you know, picked by what happens with my focus piece. Um, you know, if I get really far on, on my Friday, Saturday, then it may get bumped to focus. You know, we'll just see because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not setting rules necessarily for myself, but I am setting maybe some like guidelines um, just to kind of keep myself focused and and, and uh, maybe get some things done. So for this last Sunday, my project that I that I put together was a, a, a wall quilt kit that I had bought. You know, it was either this last spring or, or maybe this the year before. I'm not I can't remember exactly, but I got it out and everything is done with the exception of the binding is all pinned on. I just have to actually tack it down. But here it is. You see all that? It's just the US flag wall quilt. And on the back, it has a Moda fabric which has the Pledge of Allegiance written in. Just over and over so <clears throat> this was super fun 
um, maybe took me a, um, a couple of hours um, to you know get the pieces all lined out stitch them together um, then you know put the batting in put the backing on you know iron all your seams do everything you need to do and um, then get my binding you know strips cut and pinned on and um, now I just need to sit and and actually you know whip stitch the binding down and and that'll be ready I'm going to I think sew some loops on the back because I already have a dowel that's the exact perfect size so I'm just gonna um, sew some loops. I have some extra pieces of the same material so I'm just gonna sew you know make little loops and attach on the back and then I'll be able to run that dowel through and um, hang that up so anyway so that's I was really happy to get that out of out of my project pile um, you know you again that was probably I think that was something I saw use either on Facebook or Instagram and I was like oh my gosh and it was like maybe a $25 kit or something like that and you know so you quick buy it and then you add it to your project pile so I was like all right that's it I got to get this project pile down so anyway very happy with that I have two more small quilt things like that that I need to finish so I will probably pull you know one of those out um, as well um, but I also have another small quilt um, that's all put to all ready to be sewn together um, that my daughter has asked me to do um, for a friend of hers who just had a little boy so so that's going to kind of interrupt my my own project thing um, to get that finished as well but that's okay um, let's see what else we've got so let's move on to haul um, I've gotten a few things of course I've gotten a few things right um, let me show you what I'm probably tick most tickled pink about is two things this first to go on to Beth Twist's um, Heartstring Samplery shop on Etsy. You can order these mugs, and I got the one that's I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation. I love that, love that, love that. And literally, I had ordered that. It was on its way when I happened to see Anne's post from 1803 Farmhouse Baskets, and she posted this basket and look what's on the front. I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation. And I was like, this is absolutely perfect. It's really a nice width. This is about eight inches wide. It's got a nice hard solid bottom, you know, and she's got it dated here. A Frank 20, 1803 Ohio Farm Baskets. Really happy about that. So what's gonna happen is since I'm narrowing down to uh, just, you know, like my three, my three whips that are gonna sit by my chair, this is gonna come and sit next to my chair and those are gonna fit right in there. And I'm just like tickled pink with that. So anyway, those came and I couldn't wait to show y'all. So very, very happy with those. Um, one of the the next things that I had gotten, um, I don't know if everybody knew, obviously, that the the uh, word was was spreading quickly that Dovos was, um, you know, potentially going to be going out of business. Well, they, they have filed for um, assistance, bankruptcy assistance, but they're looking for a buyer or, you know, investor or something like that. Probably not going to go out of business. But, you know, I did jump on. And everybody hasn't already seen what stork scissors look like. Um, but they're just so pretty. Aren't those pretty? I really love these. So anyway, I got those. And then since I'm showing you a piece of linen, I got in some Lakeside Linen Morning Dove from my friends at Acorns and Threads. Thank you so much, ladies. And then next, um, the uh, Terry Catlin, who's the old needle shop, um, she just makes the cutest little smalls and things like that. And so 
Um, as you know, I have that tomato collection and I had stitched Brenda Gervais' um, I Collect, um, which has the tomatoes and, and things on it. And so I saw Terry had this little, little box. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Little pin box or needle box or whatever you want to put in there. And this, of course, matches the uh, spool with the tomato on it from uh, the I Collect pillow that I did. So I was like, oh, I want that. It's just so sweet. So got that. Then I saw Linda Jo, Pretty Southern, posted that she had um, some new bags in her in her shop, and so I I like that these are medium sized bags. Not everything needs to be a huge bag, and um, so I got and she included a little orc trash bag, and I really love this fabric. So I jumped on and got a couple of her bags. So they came. I'm really happy about that. And then Kelly, oops, sorry guys. Um, Stadola, that's so Kelly Co. Um, has posted a couple of, um, I don't know if these are going to be totally limited edition or, but however she's going to do them, but her Bitsy Bob Biggies. And look at this one. And it says, the stamp sampler stitcher look at that fabric and you open it up isn't that cool and then inside here she had the sampler stitcher thread cube and this fob isn't that cool that is just so nice and so creative. Kelly is so super creative. I mean, she took some of that fabric and glued that around that spool. I mean, it's just the ideas I, I think are just fantastic. So I got on and I, and I purchased that one, which I think these sold out like lickety split. Um, but I also had some fabric that I sent to her and, and probably arriving any day now, um, some bee fabric that I had, um, which I would never be able to make something like that. And, and of course that's her design anyway. So I sent her the fabric and she's making, uh, making a, a Bitsy Bob biggie for me. Um, I love those for traveling. They are fantastic because you got that little pocket, everything in there, and it's just so handy. Plus, I can actually slip that right into my purse. And it can go with whether I'm sitting in the airport or in the car or whatever, and it's not too big, and it's not another bag to have to carry. Um, so I absolutely love those. So I got that. And then, um, just looks like two other things, and that'll be the end of end of haul. Um, maybe, maybe three things. These are charts. Um, I picked up Wonderfully Made from Erica Michaels. I really love this one. And it says, you are beautiful for you are fearfully and wonderfully made. From Repeats Petites. So this one is stitched on uh, 40 count silk gauze which comes in the, in the chart pack. Then from Samplers Remembered, um, Lucy Snooshaw. And this off of Stash Unload, Birds of a Feather. And this is Peace. Yeah. And this one actually came with some linen, uh, sandpiper, some sandpiper linen, which I believe, I have to look at that, but I'm thinking that actually is also lakeside linen. Um, anyway, it says, peace be to this house and to all that dwell in it. And it has a great house on there. So anyway, pick that up off of a stash unload. 
So anyway, so that's all my haul. A um, couple of different things this time, not just all fabric. So um, I probably should have been a little ashamed of myself for, for showing all that linen last time. So, but I had really gotten on a roll. Um, I did actually get in my Victorian Motto uh, Sampler Linen Club um, piece, and it actually just came like in the last day or so, but I'll show that next time. So, anyway, um, let's see. Giveaways, the thing that everybody's been waiting for, right? Um, my friend Linda, as, you, as I had uh, talked about last time, had sent um, a whole bunch of charts and things um, that I could go through to keep or give away. And um, I let her know that I was going to be, you know, giving away some of those things. And so we had, I had picked three kind of summary patriotic types of charts out of the big box that she sent me to give away. And they were the summer fling, little summer fling and a little patriotic from Lou Who. That was one. Then there was uh, Plum Street Sampler Summer Salt Boxes. That was two. And with a needle and threads, Where Liberty Dwells. And three. So, without further ado, I had gone through, I had uh, 86 comments, I believe. <clears throat> and in doing the uh, random picker, the summer salt boxes goes to Beth Hyler, H I L E R, Beth Hyler. Liberty goes to Kim, the stay at home quilter. Congratulations, Kim. And the Luhu go to Crafty Cat Stitcher. So, I will um, comment on your comments, and um, if you will email me, you'll see my email address in the, the box below. If you'll email me with your mailing address um, and information, I'll get those right out to you ladies, and congratulations. And I'm, gonna, I'm going back to that uh, box and Linda's generosity um, for a giveaway again this time. And I'll show you those here. First up, and I kind of thought, wow, this is really appropriate for the time right now, is Timeless Wisdom. Do small things with great love. It's not the home that matters. It's the life that is lived there. You will never regret doing the right thing. When you are kind, it not only changes you, it changes the world. Don't we need that? So this was this was a good one. So if you're interested in stitching uh, this one, this is from Sony Creek. Um, just in the comments, please mention Timeless Wisdom. And then the next two that she had sent me are from um, the Blue Flower. The first one is the Color of Winter Sampler. I think those colors are pretty. So if you're interested in this one, um, just make sure you mention uh, winter. And the next one of the blue flower is Harvest Him. H-Y-M-N, so like Harvest Song. <clears throat> so if you're interested in this one, mention Harvest. And the same rule supply. Um, Please do not say, you know, freebie or giveaway or something like that in your comment. Use those words as I'll use the random comment picker um, based on whichever one you're interested in. Um, you know, the, the typical rules that go along with the giveaways. Also, you know, you can enter all three. Um, you'll win one and just be eligible for one. <clears throat> so anyway, so those are the new giveaways. Um, I think that's about it. Guys, um, we've kind of gone over some of the plans. Um, I, uh, I hope everyone is um, getting a lot of uh, stitching done. Uh, I'm not sure what, you know, people's travel plans are going to be um, for this, you know, this upcoming summer 
you know, whether pools and things like that are going to even be open. We're very fortunate that we have a pool so I can, you know, just go out in my backyard. Um, that may be our vacation, right? Um, it's just hanging out at, a, at our own pool. And that's okay. Sometimes that's all right, too. Um, so if you do have some, you know, some plans upcoming, um, you know, stay safe, stay well. And uh, I hope everybody gets lots of stitching done. And um, take care and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Thank you. Bye.